We're not trying to be conspiratorial, nor are we trying to be sensational. Eric, I know you would echo an amen to that. That's it, exactly. And we just got to report things as they are, but we can't help but see that these things are happening and it needs to be talked about. One thing I want to bring in, those out there who this kind of thing makes you uh, Mm -hmm. uh, get into a spirit of fear, listen, our time on earth is never over until God is finished with our mission. And we we need to stand up, uh, not only for the sake of the gospel, but also for our country, because the spreading of the gospel and our ability to do so is at stake here. Amen. Thank you, brother. Well, I think that we've seen gradually this expansion of power. And I think that uh, it's almost like a, a spider web. You know, the spiders are in there and they keep, it keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and people are going to get caught in it. A perfect example of that is a UN Agenda 21 that was passed back in 1992. No fanfare, no media coverage on it virtually at all. And just to, to point in or to focus in on page nine, that talks about the establishment of high-speed trains nationwide. Well, that seems very innocuous on the surface. And then they talk about building uh, six-story apartment complexes along the train line. And that seems very innocuous. But when you put it together, what they are really trying to do based on this Agenda 21 is move people from the rural areas into the city areas where, of course, it will be much more difficult to buy and sell and they cannot grow their own food. So here you have that whole agenda, that spider web that is reaching out and who is looking out for America? Our presidents certainly aren't. Gary Kyle, give us a definition for this Agenda 21. Well, in the name of um, solving the environmental alleged environmental crisis in the world, the United Nations began to implement this Agenda for Sustainable Development, which is really a code word for whatever they need to do as globalists to set the stage for coming world government using the environment to do it. Uh, that's the bottom line. And so you have to have more people directly into smaller areas. You have to have more green space Mm -hmm. in the country. A map that I saw had about 80% of Florida off limits to people. They literally would have to rebuild the roads in in parts of not just Florida, but the rest of the United States to go around all the so-called green spaces that they would have where people would no longer be allowed to live. And by doing this, you can control populations more easily as well by getting them out of the rural areas into the big cities, and and they would be uh, able to be less independent as as Jill just mentioned. So this is all part of the globalization agenda. It's a big part. It's not the only part, but the environment is a a very large aspect of it. 